Hi, folks. So every year, a bunch of crazy Navy SEALs and a bunch of people that support them jump in the Hudson River and swim from Jersey City, New Jersey, and they come all the way up through uh, the Hudson. It's actually quite an event. So this year, they, it happened yesterday, honoring September 11th and those who paid the ultimate sacrifice. So joining me now are the Director of Veterans Programs, Sunbelt Rentals, and Commander, Command Master Chief Shane McKenzie, former Navy SEAL New York attorney and founder of Hudson River Swim, Bill Brown. So guys, um, this was huge. I unfortunately did not make the swim. I went to my local pool and punished myself in the afternoon, made sure I swam the same distance. Um, it's not hope, the same. It's sacrifice. not the same. It was a nice warm pool. I got out. I had a not margarita. It was great. <laughs> but uh, so you guys do this and, you know, every year, and it's a big event. Talk to us about what it means and what the support you've been getting for it. I tell you what it means to me, if we just anchored on the word sacrifice, mm -hmm. that's really what came to mind yesterday as we were going through the first legs, get in the water, that first mile and a half swim out to the barge, mm -hmm. seeing uh, Lady Liberty up there giving us power and strength and then remembering and honoring those that gave us so all. Yeah. So. yeah no. I can tell you what, we got great guys like Shane, great our brothers coming together from all corners of the country. Texas, California, Hawaii, just to come out, to have a, a, a real tough event for a great cause. You're out there, you see Statue of Liberty, you see the torch of freedom right there, you see all these great American heroes. You got police officers, firefighters, mm. you got guys who are swimming to honor their family members killed in 9-11. We got to hear a couple of them talk at the end. You're coming through with the World Trade Center, you're carrying American flags, holding them high with pride. And then guess what? You got the bagpipers playing for you. It is all inspiring. It's moving. It like boosts me up because a lot of things happen in this country today. But yet we see great men like Shane out here representing and all our brothers coming together. And I love it. And there's one thing I could say, and one thing I'm blessed by your friendship, Shane's friendship, is we look out for each other. Hmm. And if That's one fair. thing veterans need to do is we got to look out for each other. One thing, we all gotta look out for each other. Yeah, that's an interesting thing. One of the hardest things guys do, they get out of the teams, they're, you know, we've been told for, you know, whatever time we were in, for me it was nine years, that look, you're the best there is, you know, go get them, here, be here at this time and do this, kill bad guys, break their stuff, and we get out. And, and a lot of us, I, me included, we struggle. We're like, all right, what do we do now? And, you know, like talk about how important that brotherhood is. That, import, that important thing is everything. And I can tell you, one of the things I pray, as I pray when a, a, a good brother of mine is in a struggle or needs some help, and I know it's a noble help, uh, fight, mm -hmm. I pray that no matter how weak I am, no matter how ill I am, I pray that I have the courage to step up and, and support him. And I don't care, and to be honest with you, you get guys getting canceled out there because they can't, they, you talk about life, liberty, and the pursuit of mm -hmm. happiness. Well, what's liberty if you can't discuss politics and what you think is happening that has the greatest influence on our daily lives without repercussion of being silenced. Yep. And so many of my brothers, small business owners, entrepreneurs, getting canceled, shut down on Facebook and media. And so I'm taking this opportunity to say what's happening. You know, Mark Zetterberg, Jack Dorsey, you're wrong. And these are great Americans that you're shutting down. And I'm disappointed. And I'm going to speak up on behalf of my brothers. Yep. And anybody who doesn't like it, and maybe it hurts my career in the legal field, but I'm stepping up because it's the right thing to do, and I think it's just my two seconds of fame, and that's what I'm doing. And I, and, uh, and I pray that other veterans come together and look out for each other. Yeah. Now, you had mentioned that uh, the transition out of the armed forces is extremely stressful. What we've seen in some of the data that our company has collected is 97% of those that are transitioning yeah. said they would rather go back to combat than go through that process yeah. again. So it's hugely important that you find a corporation. For me, 29 years in the SEAL team, Finding a company that had solid culture that embraced that uh, attributes and competencies those veterans bring, take care of them, take care of their families, and then give them a safe place to grow into that next career. Yeah, no, that, that's the huge thing too, is so many guys that I, I mean, like I knew guys who were rocks, okay? And seven of them have either tried or succeeded in killing themselves in the last 12 years. That are, these are personal friends of mine. And these are mm -hmm. guys that like, I mean, I looked up to that were my rock in the team to say that's the guy I want to be one day. What, what, are you, what are you guys seeing in, in people helping to deal with that? You know, one of the things I think about is why. Why so many of our beautiful yeah. brothers? And one of the reasons why is look what they did to the police, the defund movement. Mm -hmm. Think about here you are, every man you know, wants to have pride in his job, wants to feel confident about what he's, these are good men putting themselves, and women putting themselves out of line. And they're being framed 
as, as a negative part of our society. And can you, imagine, can you imagine wearing your uniform with pride and you got all this stuff on TV, all these people hating yeah. on you? Guess what? They did it to our brothers in Vietnam. Yeah. And guess what? I'm going to be honest with you. For veterans now, there's so many negative bias stereotypes yeah, there against is. Us. Yeah. employment dis discrimination, employment education discrimination. There's a reason why so many of our brothers are having a hard time. Yeah. Well, Shane McKenzie, Bill Brown, we're going to be right back, folks. We've got more team guys coming up after this. Don't go anywhere.